welcome back to another video. Today, gonna put some wheels together, gonna do some undercoating, maybe play with some other parts if they arrive. Got the old lip sitting on top of a new barrel here that I just picked up, and we've got four new lips sitting out here. One of the sectors over there. Going to get ready, start drilling some holes and see how we go. Lines up perfectly the center of the lip first the barrel. So I'm going to clamp them in place, run the drill bit through all the holes. Shouldn't take too long hopefully. Repeat that six times. I think the worst bit's going to be drilling the valve hole. But bring it on. Only one way to find out how we go. Two barrels, two lips done, one lip here still to be done, and working on one lip right now. Pretty simple. Clamp one of the old lips onto the opposite side. F clamps holding it together. A couple of bolts just as extra positioners, not that it needs it. And then just going around drilling 7.5mm holes. Actually didn't take too bad, still on the first drill bit and I'm on to the fifth uh, piece to be drilled so overall not bad back into it and then putting them together shortly first wheel all done 17 by 10 uh, rear we need to measure up the offset and all of that but yeah it looks good actually really excited to put these together and they might make it onto the S15 yet. Don't know if they'll suit the body shape, but 17.9, 17.10. Just been measuring up the offsets. So we've got plus 23 in the front, plus 44 in the back, which is perfect S chassis size. Measured off my 13. Could have gone a bit wider, but this allows you to stand the backs up as well. Get all the grip you can. I just have to seal up the middle, mask them off, seal up the middle, and we are done. Realized as, I was editing, realized as I was editing that I took the wrong, well, I took the right measurements for the wheel offsets, but I calculated it wrong. So front 17 by 9, 11 and a half positive, rear 17 by 10, 22 positive. Started to get a little bit excited and just wanted to see what the back would look like with pressure pack undercoat. Goes on really light. Managed to get the whole back done, which is dark enough I think. Just have to make sure there's no spots I can see through like the number plate hole. Mast off the wheel arches, I'll use a bit of stuff for that. Just want to make sure all the wheels and stuff are inside before that, so I'll probably prep it all tonight. Mask up, and that way tomorrow I'll be able to get under there with the gun and actually get sprayed in those wheel arches. Well, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, looks better. So much better than that bloody white overspray that seems to be everywhere. Yeah, all the more of that I can cover up, the happier I am at the moment. Trying the whole work with the door down thing for a little bit just to keep some of the heat out. I am cooking. The more I look at the wheels in the S15, I think I've definitely got to try them on. So when the subframe gets in, we'll see what the back looks like. But I actually reckon they'll work. I haven't really seen too many S15s with this style of Panasport, sport, but we'll see. Going to wrap the back up in a minute with plastic, get ready so I can do some underspray tomorrow, the undercoating. And we've got the rear bumper over here. Probably cut out the plastic squares so it's all ready to weld, plastic weld in. Get that all repaired. Got a bit accomplished today. Just finished wrapping up the car. So ready for the underspray tomorrow. At least this gets me to a point where I'll be able to put the subframe and stuff in when I get them back. I should have my custom brake lines arrive tomorrow as well I reckon, that way I can get them in once the underspray is on. It just opens up a heap more little jobs to be done while I'm waiting for the engine to arrive. This morning's mission is pretty simple, after prepping yesterday Arvo, we got the underspray to go on. So basic stuff, boy Troy gave it to me, so we spray that on, see how we go, see how much mess I end up with. Just want to do the rear guards. 
just to up it in there. And that's it for that spray. The rest I'll probably do with aerosol. Well, same as I did the back. First can is done and on and actually looking amazing. Bloody glad I did this. Um, need to get duck down the road, grab another can, and then I'll do most of the underbelly. Bit hard working on the ground, only a foot and a half off the ground anyway. But we'll get there, it should be good. Let's see how we go with the next can. I've still got a heap to go under here, and then any modifications that happen later, I'll just have to touch them up, but it's easy enough. Plastic off, and by Christ, does that make me happy! The whole underside is done, everything is coated, a couple of little bits of mist here and there, but nothing I'm worried about. I've still got the fronts to go, I'll wait till I've got the tubs in, I've just used the last of the can up just on the inside edge, so at least that'll get two coats. Fair bit of overspray just into the bay, but that's okay, still got to sand, still got to do a bit more prep there, but I wanted to make sure the tunnel was coated on the front edge and just on the lower of the chassis rails so that way when the white goes over it's all fully protected and I don't get overspray when I do the engine bay but yeah, tub's still to be done at the front hence why that hasn't been done I think that'll be me done for the day a couple of little cleaning jobs but I'll knock them out off camera nothing too special, just a few things to go in when I get the chance and I've had a delivery come from GK Tech got the braided lines to delete all the hard lines to the back of the car and the in-bay kit which I got them to modify slightly and make one line longer to suit my setup only thing is I can't put them in yet still waiting on a couple of fittings to come back and they are with the zinc plater at the moment but overall happy with what I've achieved on the, last, on the car especially with the undercoating so good to get rid of all the overspray just got to work out what I'm going to do next as I'm at the point where I'm starting to wait for things really need the engine and box here so I can mock it all up and get that ready hopefully at the end of the week or start of next week that'll be here otherwise I am done